Yo. So today, we're gonna be talking about capture cards. And the best capture cards that I think you should get for your Mac. Let's get ba 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 -rudo. What's up everybody, it's your boy, the Fortitron. And today I'm gonna to be going over the three best capture cards that you should be getting if you're gonna be streaming on your Mac. And no, it's not just the HD60S Plus three times. I promise, I promise. I promise. All right, let's get into this. All right, so I've been talking about capture cards for probably a year now, and I've been suggesting the same three capture cards over and over again. My main one, my try and true HD60S Plus from Elgato, but we already know about that one. I'm gonna be talking about two other ones that I always suggest in my videos, and those are, whoa! Uh, the no-name brand from Amazon, that's $50, and this guy, the Avermedia Live Gamer Mini. All right, so I'm gonna do some live unboxings for the first time, I've never done this before. Let's look at the $50 no-name brand from Amazon capture card. Let's see what we got in here. There isn't even tape covering this. I don't know, my hopes aren't super high for something that's 50 bucks. Accessory, just a shiny piece of, I don't know, it's probably like some cloth. Ooh, this is a tiny little baby. Wait a minute. It kind of looks like a baby. Look at this. Can you zoom in? Can you zoom in? It won't, it's just seeing my face. It's like, oh, there's your forehead, there you go. There you go. Look at that. It's a little baby. I want my baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, baby back, ribs. You know what's interesting about this? It has a, it has a, like a regular USB 2.0 port on here. It's got a port for both your headphones and a microphone and an HDMI in and out. So before I used to recommend like a $20 adapter that was just like an HDMI on a USB stick, don't get that. This is 50 bucks and it's got the proper HDMI in and out. So you can put in your console and then you can have the out going to like a monitor or something so you can play uh, your games live. So, all right, what else we got in this box? Oh, it comes with a few cables. All right. So you got a USB-C to USB-A cable, that's handy. And you've got a double male USB cable. Okay, so let's get real for a second here, Mac users. So if you have a Mac that only has Thunderbolt ports or only has USB Type-C ports, do not use a USB-A cable with a crappy adapter on the end. Don't do that, don't do that. I see a lot of you out there and you put an adapter on the end of it and then you ask me why your footage is choppy and it's like, it's always the adapter. Use the proper cable. Use this one that's got the USB-C on one end, that'll plug into your Mac, and then the USB-A can go into this guy. So that's cool, it comes with both cables. And it comes with an HDMI cable. That's very nice, 50 bucks. You know what? I would never use this HDMI cable though. I don't know how good the quality is. You don't have to go buy like those monster cables from Best Buy, but you definitely should not be using the free cable that comes with it. Use this for something else that you don't really care about. I don't know, that's pretty good value, 50 bucks. I dig it. Life's a garden, dig it, you make it work for you. All right, next up, we got the Avermedia Live Gamer Mini. All right, this one's $100, it's probably the next step up. Let's take a look here, I got my fancy unboxing knife. Let's do that. You know you're a YouTuber when you have an unboxing knife. Okay, and then cut away from yourself, not towards yourself. That's just a, that's a tip from dads. Who is your daddy and what does he do? <laughs> okay, I don't know, let's not get weird. All right, let's take off this cellophane wrap. I always, I keep the boxes pristine because you never know if you're gonna like return it or I don't know, give it away or sell it, who knows. Ooh, a nicer inside box. My pile of junk is getting pretty steep over here. All right, let's open this up. Oh wow, this is mini. Look at this guy. They're all little. It's even smaller than the $50 one. This one's definitely thinner though. But that's a little guy. No, 
But it's literally the live gamer mini. I get it now. Ha ha. Ah ha 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 ha. Okay, so this one definitely has a different scheme for the IO input output, uh, for those of you who don't know what IO stands for. Uh, so it's all on one side. So it's on the longer side, instead of being like on each of the ends, it's on the, the longest side. That's what I'm talking about, the longest side. Um, and you got your basics. You got your HDMI in, out, and your USB plug. There is no audio ports on this. So what that means is, if you wanna use something like the Elgato chat link, which I talked about in a previous video, you won't be able to use it with this one. You might be able to use the chat link with this adapter, I'm not 100% sure. I still wouldn't recommend that to anybody. Wow. Um, but okay, pretty basic. What else do you get in this box? Oh, look at this. You get like a threaded micro USB cable. This is nice. This is a really nice cable. I like that. And you get documentation. That is it. So no HDMI cables. It is just a micro. So the micro end goes into the capture card, of course, and then just a regular USB-A. What I will say is the Live Gamer Mini is USB 2.0. This no-name one claims to be USB 3.0. I don't know. We'll see how legit that is later. And the HD 60S Plus is definitely USB 3.0. Cool, so that was unboxing. All right, let's get into seeing how these look. All right, so while I'm setting all this up, I just wanna say something really quick here. So if you are somebody that maybe has like an iMac and you wanna play off of your iMac display and you want it to be as like latent free as possible, I definitely recommend you get the HD 60S Plus. Not just because it's more expensive, I'm not sponsored by Elgato, it's because this is true USB 3.0 and it'll have the least amount of latency. Um, I've tested it many times. I could play right off of my Mac display for a lot of games, except for like maybe like higher frame rate games or shooter games. I definitely still recommend you play off of an external monitor out of the HDMI out port. But if you're wanting to play right off of your Mac display and you don't have a separate display to play off of, I still would recommend you buy the HD 60S Plus just because of the latency. So I know for sure, without even testing it, I don't even need to. This being uh, USB 2.0, this is definitely gonna have the highest amount of latency. So I would, you absolutely would need to play off of an external monitor. It'll be too choppy. And I don't even, we'll see. We'll see how this one does. Anyway, setting this up. So this is what we're gonna do. Let's do a test and I'm gonna just record the same type of gameplay through each capture card and then I won't tell you which is which and then in the comments down below you tell me which one you think is which and then maybe at the end of the video I'll tell you which one knows which Okay, wow. Uh, could you tell the difference between two of them? Because yeah, it's clear which one is the Elgato HD60S Plus. No comparison, like doesn't even come close. It's clearly the best one. And you know what, that makes me happy because I spent $200 on that one as opposed to the other ones being $150. But wow, after seeing how similar the Live Gamer Mini and the $50 no-name Amazon one was, um, I would 100% go with the no-name one over the Aver Media, hands down, any day of the week. This is 50 bucks, this one is $100. So 50 versus 100 bucks. And yeah, you're getting a brand name that you can trust, but like, I don't know, like, this was 50 bucks. Like, you can't argue with that. 
And if you're just getting into streaming and you don't wanna spend a lot of money, this is a solid option. I'm gonna recommend this one to anybody. I'm gonna stop recommending the Aver Media. I'm sorry, Aver Media, if you have a more compelling product that you think could match up to these two and be in that middle price bracket, hit me up. But definitely for $100, you're not gaining anything for that 50 bucks. This one actually has more features. Yeah, like I'm gonna recommend this one every time. So was that interesting for you guys? I hope you enjoyed this. This is my first time doing like an unboxing video, but my conclusion, get the $50 adapter. If you wanna take it more seriously, you want really solid looking gameplay, you're doing a lot of game recording and maybe you're doing some streaming as well, I still always recommend the Elgato HD60S Plus. But I understand 200 bucks is a bit much for people. So yeah, get the $50 Amazon one. Hands down, 10 out of 10, full stop. Recommend every day of the week. Tell me what you think in the comments down below. What did you guys think of this video? What kind of capture cards are you looking at? Or if you have a Mac and you wanna start streaming, you must get one of these cards. They all have UVC support. They all guaranteed work. Don't get the Elgato HD60S. I've made enough videos about that already, but don't get that one. Um, if you wanna check out those videos, here they are over here. Uh, but that's gonna be it for me. I'm gonna head out of here, but just do me one last favor. Have yourself a great day. Cheers, everybody.